Tonight, an international health scare involving Southwest shellfish. China has banned it, so we wanted to know why is it still being served here? Welcome, everyone, to Coin 6 News at 11. I'm Kelly Day. And I'm Jeff Gianola. Jolie Winaga getting answers from local seafood distributors. Joel, are they saying that Northwest shellfish is safe to eat? 100% safe, uh, Jeff and Kelly. Good evening to you. That shellfish in question tonight is something called the gooey duck clam, something people rarely eat anyways. But as a result, the Chinese have banned all shellfish harvested here in Northwest waters. The financial effects could be devastating. How many loyal customers are allowed behind the counter to shuck their own oysters at Portland's iconic Dan and Lewis's Oyster Bar? Only Jeremy Barnacle can claim that title. China banned all this shellfish here. You're not afraid of it. Uh, why is that? Absolutely not. They taste great. They're local. I know they're healthy. I'm not worried about it at all. But China doesn't share the same opinion. Last week, the Chinese suspended all imports of shellfish from the West Coast after shipments of gooey duck clams from Northwest waters were found to have high levels of arsenic and another toxin that causes paralytic shellfish poisoning. The unprecedented ban means Northwest Fisheries will lose $270 million. Fresh manila clams. But seafood distributors from the Flying Fish Company in Southeast Portland call it uh, a bunch of bad press. The Chinese ban includes clams, mussels, and oysters harvested from waters off Alaska, Washington, Oregon, and Northern California. But seafood retailers assure us our local shellfish is safe to eat. Our fisheries are managed properly, um, our, our, the waters are tested consistently, and it's perfectly safe to eat. Gildersleeve says the affected clams were harvested in Alaska or Washington and not off the Oregon coast. The seafood coming from the Northwest is some of the healthiest, most sustainable, and, and just overall best seafood that you can buy. While the ban will hurt local seafood companies, Gildersleeve hopes local consumers will step up even more to show support. Jeremy Barnacle says no problem. I'm going to do my best to make up for that 270 million. We're back live now. So, having a timeline on all this, well, certainly not good news uh, for these businesses. China's government says this ban will continue indefinitely. Reporting live here in Southeast Portland, Joel Iwanaga, Coin Six News. Now back to you, Jeff Kelly. Joel, thank you. And if you have a story you'd like us to look into, just send it to report it at coin.com.